Hey guys, it's Allison. I hope you're having a super happy day so far. So today, I'm sharing with you what I pack in my Disney bag. As you can see, it's pretty filled up. Um, sometimes I take a little less, sometimes I take a little more. It really just depends if I'm going to Disneyland, if I'm going to Walt Disney World, if I'm going all day, or if I'm just going for a couple hours. Thankfully, I am a cast member, so I do have the luxury of getting into Disney for free, so I don't always have that pressure to spend my whole entire day there, which is something I'm super thankful for. But, um, yeah, so sometimes I really do just go for a couple hours and grab a bite to eat or watch a show or something. So sometimes I just bring like my phone and, and a credit card or something. So it really just depends. But I'm going to show you my bag if I'm going to spend a full day in the park. Enjoy. Okay, so let's get started. Before I dive into my bag, I did want to kind of share what I have on. This is totally an outfit that I would wear to a day at Disney. Um, so it's very fitting for this video. These sparkly silver ears are actually from the parks and I love them because they match with every outfit. I mean, <laughs> they are so easy to just put on and mindlessly with any kind of outfit because they're silver and they match with anything. And then I'm just wearing this little pink bandana to add a little pop of pink because pink is actually my favorite. And then I am wearing this shirt that I embroidered this little sunshine on. It totally gives me lots of Rapunzel vibes and she's definitely my favorite princess. So I love to add a little DIY to any Disney outfit. Okay, now let's get into the backpack. So this backpack actually looks like you are wearing the sunshine on your back. I mean, it is bright yellow. It's great if you're with a group of friends and you get separated, they will definitely find you. I mean, look at this backpack. <laughs> I'll definitely link any similar backpacks down below, but this is a Kipling backpack. It's really great quality. Um, it's pretty water resistant too, so if you go on Splash Mountain, you don't have to sweat it. <laughs> and um, yeah, tons of pockets and tons of space. So I also have this little puffy pink keychain to add Again, a pop of pink. <laughs> okay, so let's go inside. So the first obvious thing, the biggest thing probably, is this jean jacket. I usually like to take a little jacket into Disney. Of course, it totally depends on the time of year. In summer, you do not need to bring a jacket. Maybe a rain jacket, but you're not going to be cold. <laughs> in Florida, at least. In Disneyland, you could be a little chilly at night. So even in Florida though, in spring, uh, fall, and winter, I, it does get chilly in the morning and at night sometimes. So bringing a jacket is definitely good, a good idea, especially if you're like me and you're kind of a wimp when it comes to the cold. So there's that. And then of course, I have my wallet. I just bring my whole wallet. This one's from Kate Spade. And I've had it for a couple years now and I have some change and I have my Disney ID and ticket, of course. I usually don't wear my magic band. I don't like the way it feels on my wrist. So I just take my ticket and pull it out for fast passes and whatnot. So yeah, don't want to forget the money to buy all the Mickey treats and souvenirs. And then water bottle. This is such a must. I mean, especially if you're going to Walt Disney World in Florida, you need to hydrate, but don't be like me and do not bring a glass water bottle. So I love the size of this water bottle and I love glass because I feel like it's a lot cleaner than plastic. I don't know. But you can't bring glass into Disney or Disney World or Disneyland and I've made the mistake before. I walked into Disneyland like ready for a great day and they're like, no, you can't take your water bottle. But it's all good because I was staying at the Disneyland Hotel. So I just went back to the room, put it in there, got a little plastic water bottle and went back. So it wasn't a big deal but I learned my lesson. So bring a water bottle, but don't bring a glass water bottle like me. There's a little tip for you. Okay, next up, let's see. Okay, I have this little bag, and this bag is so perfect for Disney because it says, this bag contains magic. 
And in this bag, I have I have chapstick. This is one of those EOS ball chapstick things. And then I have some gum. And I have band-aids in case you get blisters and a hair tie that's hanging onto the band-aid. And I have hand sanitizer. Definitely could use that. And I have nail files too. I'm not sure why I need that many. And I have little Disney sticker nail stickers. <laughs> I have a candy cane. It's probably expired. I'm going to throw that away. An old library card. That's also probably expired. Um, oh, and I have an extra camera battery, which I always take just in case because I'm always stopping pictures and taking videos. And then I have lipsticks and another nail file and literally so many hair ties. So if you see me at Disney and need a hair tie, I got you covered. Just come up and ask for one. I got you. <laughs> okay, moving on. I have my camera. So this is actually like a super old Sony camera. I actually use this to vlog sometimes. I don't really vlog much, but when I do, I usually use this camera. It's seriously almost 10 years old, and it still has really great quality. Um, it's very beat up, but it does the trick. I actually would typically use the camera that I'm filming this video on in the park, so I would take that, or sometimes I just use my iPhone. iPhone can really do the trick sometimes. But the camera that I do take video with is a Canon T5 Rebel. So yeah, I usually take that, or this, or both. Now up next, oh okay, this is very important, snacks. All the snacks. As much as I love the snacks you can buy at Disney, sometimes I just like to bring my own and especially healthier versions of snacks. And actually these are great because these are healthy and you can actually buy them at Disney. So this is so cool. This is Pure Growth Organic Snacks. So some of my favorites are the Strawberry Breakfast Biscuit Bites. These are super, super yummy and they even have Lion King. Um, Lion Guard, which is like the Disney Channel show now, and they have it, they have the pictures on the snacks, so it's like you're taking Disney snacks into Disney, or you can buy them there, like I said. And then, I really like this one too, Blueberry Breakfast Biscuits, with BB-8 on it. It's <laughs> so cute, because it's like Blueberry Breakfast, BB, get it? I get it. <laughs> and then, I also love these Pure Growth Organic White Cheddar Popcorn so so yummy because like sometimes it's so hard to find organic snacks and I actually as much as I love Mickey bars and candy I can only eat so much of that without feeling like worn down because of all the bad stuff that's in it sad to say so I love to bring healthier versions of snacks and it's really encouraging to see that Disney even sells healthier versions like pure growth organics so I definitely recommend next time in your, you're in the park to try these snacks or you can get them at Walmart and Amazon so it's a great great option for sure so I always bring snacks and I usually bring like breakfast biscuits or granola bars if I'm going early as well because sometimes for breakfast I I'd rather just have like a quick little bite so I can like get going get on rides right away maybe stop at Starbucks but I usually just get coffee there okay moving along not too much actually not too much more I always bring sunglasses. So in here is my little sunglass case. And then I have these sunglasses. These have been my favorites recently. These are from Free People. And I really, really like them a lot. Um, it's kind of fun because, um, you know, Free People is pretty expensive. I mean, I can't really afford their clothes. But their sunglasses are only $20. So really, really neat tip. OK. Also, deodorant. I mean, if you're gonna be at Disney all day and it's smoking hot outside, you're gonna wanna freshen up. So I highly suggest bringing deodorant. And then, okay, so these are just a couple like random things that I have in my bag. Um, so I have the Flower and Garden <laughs> Passport from, well, I guess it's still going on right now. Um, so I like to keep it in my bag because if I go multiple times, I don't like to get a new passport every single time because that's super wasteful. And I love to like put the stickers on the um, vendors that I already got stuff from and kind of see if I can cross them all off. So I always keep that in my bag as well. And then I have this little 
Enchanted Tales with Bell bookmark. It's so cute and it says you'll always be part of my favorite story, Bell. And everyone who goes to Enchanted Tales with Bell gets one of these bookmarks. Then Enchanted Tales with Bell is such a hidden gem in um, Magic Kingdom because I feel like lots of people just skim over it, especially if they don't have kids. They think, eh, that's like for kids and families and stuff. But it's really so cute and really fun and like an intimate, um, intimate experience with the character. So I highly suggest that. Okay, now I'm diving into the pockets. So I have a little notebook. Um, this honestly was just in my backpack before I took it to Disney, so this really doesn't have a big purpose, but I'm the kind of girl who always likes to have a notebook on her because I'm always writing to-do lists and little thoughts down, so that is totally something that I will keep in here. Okay, let's see. And now in this pocket, I have some headphones, which is, again, something that was already in my backpack, but I thought, like, Hmm, maybe I could use it sometime if I'm waiting in line or need to jam out to some tangled songs or something. And then I have a phone charger, which I actually like, I usually do well with my phone battery, being honest. I know lots of people have a hard time with that, but since the phones have um, low power mode now, the iPhones, that really helps my phone a lot. So I usually just right away put it in battery saving mode. And then I, um, Try to like close out the apps I'm not going to use and maybe turn the brightness down to kind of conserve energy and it usually lasts me all day, especially since I take a lot of my photographs with my actual camera now, that definitely saves a lot of battery. Okay, now in this pocket, I have another hand sanitizer. This is Florida Orange. It smells super good. And now, um, last pocket and then I'm finished. So in this pocket, I have some peanut butter for a snack. <laughs> And then a pen, maybe in case I need an autograph or write down some notes. So that sums it up, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know what you pack in your Disney Parks bag. And I hope to see you at Disney soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.